What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Good to have you here today as we continue to explore the world of indie games. Today we're looking at Beacon, a top-down shooty roguelike type game. And those those components come together very, very well for me as an individual, so I figured you might like it too. Let's start a new game and see what's going on. If after this episode you end up liking what thou hast seen here, that's right, I went, that's right, I went Shakespearean on you. I went Shakespearean on you, son. You can get it down below in the description, obviously. I'll have it for you. Ooh, we're looking stylish right now. We're looking stylish. All right, I'll open my map. Looks like we got a collection of little islands around here that we got to check out. Ooh, I like the shootiness. The shootiness is fun. Okay, all right. I see what they got going on already. Uh, we can jump down to here. Apparently, we've located some munitions. I dodge rolled, guys. I dodge rolled so hard. Oh, is that a machine gun? Oh, we got a Viper? It's automatic and has low accuracy. But, like, I don't think I have that many bullets for it. Oh, no, there's an enemy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta kill these dudes off. It has to happen. Apparently, we've picked up DNA. We've collected some of the genetic material of whatever it was that we just killed. What is this? Grenades? Okay. Throw grenade. I will chuck a grenade right now. Ow! I've been struck! Who knew the world was going to be so violent? Normally, stone is my friend. We can melee? Okay. I'm going to do that, but, like, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like after our mishap with the grenade knocking over a wall that, like, murdered me, I don't think that smacking the wall is a good idea either. A flare shot. With safety always guiding our hand, Shurai Teku Interstellar is pleased to equip all interplanetary vessels under its command with an extraordinary flare shot, or an emergency flare shot. It's only to be used in extraordinary circumstances. This reusable device will fire a blue signal flare that attracts attention and aids stranded ships or pilots. If the device detects adverse conditions, it may on occasion deploy a more powerful white supernova flare. Please be aware that the flares fired with this device are extremely dangerous, and as such, every precaution should be made to point the device away from anything you do not wish to see destroyed. Okay. Activate pickup. That seems to have worked pretty well. At a certain point, I think you got a question. Yeah, I don't know. For okay, we made it. There's a detonator. Where's the detonator at? Oh yeah, there's a bomb over here. All right, we'll grab that. I'm going to back the hell up. I don't think it sounds like a good idea for me to be anywhere near that explosion when it goes off. Anything else over here? The Barrage RR05. Time and time again, our customers have, act, or they have asked for a product that could be deployed in the most dire circumstances. Apparently, I just can't read today. A device that in an emergency could be used to quickly and officially help turn the tides of battle. As with any suggestion from customers, we looked at these requests closely and took them to heart. However, we also know that our customers come to us for a unique take on armaments and would not be satisfied with the passive shield or non-lethal technology of our competitors. Our customers want something more proactive. So this is a Kaiser Schmid barrage. At the push of a button, not one, not two, but five guided missiles will burst forth to seek out and destroy hostile forces closest to you. Oh, he got a shield. He's got a shield. Okay. I feel like I'm about to get shot. You ever get that strange feeling that you're about to get shot? Maybe it's just me. What is this thing? Oh, the simulation's complete. Okay, apparently I've been zoned out and teleported. Never mind. Are we on to, like, the real game now? Let's do it. Let's do it. So my current genome is empty. We've got 16 luck. We've got 17 speed. We've got volatile. We've got fortified. I'll probably put that in there because it doesn't look to have any negatives. These all have negatives. I wanted to have, like, you know, stuff in my genome that does not net get rid of my strengths. Your veins pulse against your skin, electricity crackling through them, eliciting a dull pain that you can never quite become accustomed to. The skin on your wrist ruptures to make way for the raw and inflamed veins, which discharge shock to anything that comes into contact with them. 
That seems really, really painful and unnecessary, but you know what? I think I'm on the Freya Akiyama build Mark 1. They did a good job making things sound like they're from, you know, like Alien, basically. All the names sound like they're roughly from, like, cyberpunk sources. Alright, so all we got this time around is a plasma pistol. I'm gonna go to the left. We're gonna see what tries to kill us over here. There's a drop down over there. Over here. Wait, I can inspect things? Well, how do I introduce this? If you're reading this high, this is Freya Akiyama. I'm a sec runner for Shurai Teku Interstellar, and I'm completely unbelievably screwed. As far as I can tell, my situation is this. My ship, the Uraburos, you've probably seen the burnout wreckage tastefully adorning the landscape, came into atmosphere somewhere up there and impacted into the side of the planet right about here. From what I could tell, a big explosion followed, and my crushed, dead, flailing body was thrown a couple of hundred feet into a tree. Luckily, my clone base still works, hence the fresh new me. Believe me, the old me is in no state to be writing this. Unluckily, the distress beacon, the only thing they guaranteed would make it out of a crash intact, is missing. So my only hope is to find and activate the beacon's locator from the ship. It's not going to be easy. It could have landed miles away from the crash site. It could have fallen off a cliff and it could be underwater. I'm pretty sure other people don't need to deal with these sorts of problems when they're less than ten minutes old. What is this? Standard water tanks equipped to long-distance Shuriteku interstellar spacecraft. Okay. You get used to the metallic taste after a while. When I first started, I used to mix in other stuff to take the edge off, but now it's gotten so that normal water tastes weird to me. Just as well, I guess, because this is what I'm going to be drinking for the foreseeable future. Alright. Well, let's head on out. I haven't had enough combat lately. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get this gun wet out here. Let's go. I don't know what that thing is, but I'm going to kill it. It's got to die. Oh my god, that's a large-scale bug. That is a massive insect. Is that thing going to try and hurt me? It's going to try and hurt me, isn't it? Oh, it just slows you. Okay, so it's like a trip vine. I don't need health, so I think we're solid on that front. Let's go see if we can pick up something useful over this way. That's going to fall down. It's not going to hit me, though, like it did in the tutorial. No, sir, re, Bob. This seems somewhat sketchy. Yeah, and getting sketchier. Oh, God. I don't know what these things are, but it's dead now. Proximity Mine. The Prism Mine forms part of your standard issue kit for ground combatants. Okay, so I can destroy... Or I can, I'm sorry, I can deploy a Proximity Mine if I want to. Uh, we got, like, flamethrowers. Can I kill those? I can? Oh, good. What is this? A Flux Node. This game's got kind of like an out-of-this-world vibe to it, where, like, you don't really understand what's happening... Like, you're trying your best to figure it out, but, like, it's just a weird world that you're a part of. Was there anything down there? I didn't see anything off that way. We came up from right there. Uh, let's not deal with you right now. You can just go away, weird little flamethrower creatures. That's a jump pad, and that was legit as hell. I like jump pads. Jump pads make me happy. Oof. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I thought, like, maybe something would catch me right there because there was an arrow going off the side. Let's try again. Maybe I, maybe I did that wrong. Oh, there's a little platform right there. I see it. Oh, no. That was weird. A storm cell is incoming? What does that mean? Oh, dude. Oh, apparently I got to activate all the transmitters. The real question is, how do I get down from there without horribly wounding myself? Okay, well, let's see if we can find the other transmitter then, because it seems like the transmitters are going to be, like, somewhat requi- Ow! Guys, I tripped and fell. Luckily, I have, like, this awesome drone that's going to pick me up, but...
Is that little one right there going to try? Ow! I think that little one is not my friend. We're not doing super well right now. Wasn't there like a health pickup over here? I think there was. Well, hopefully we can get another one. I like it. It's stylized. It flows well. It's smooth. The shooting feels satisfying. The isometric view can make aiming jumps and things like that a little bit awkward sometimes, but... Oh, no. That's a lot of baddies. I don't think I need energy right now, but health would be great. Yeah, I'll take that real quick. Let me just grab onto that. Anything that gives me a few extra HP would be appreciated. Considering my HP bar has really kind of taken a whooping in the first couple seconds of this game. I'm getting used to the isometric view. Anything over here? Guess not. Alright, well, as much as I adore all of these crates that they seem to be putting in front of me. What's in here? Oh my god, health packs. More health packs! I don't know what that is. Proximity mine for a focus. Oh, it increases my accuracy. Do I want that? I don't know what I want. Proximity mines are cool. But honestly, I don't know what I want. Bad guys? Are you over here? Some kelpie growths in this area. If I look at my map, like, where the hell am I right now? I was gonna... Oh, that's a big map, dude. That's a super big map. I didn't expect to be free roaming on quite this level. Well, touche, developers. I thought I was gonna be, like, briefly hopping in between islands. Ow! You know how people always say that your chances of getting struck by lightning are, like, really, really low? I'm beginning to doubt that. I wasn't even near that one. I wasn't even near that one. The Floro Spire Climb Cache. Okay. I think a sexier gun would probably help out a little bit. I need something that can put out a little bit more bucka. Yeah, like, I don't even know what these critters are, but they appear to drop DNA. Is that a mine, or is that DNA? Volatile DNA. Okay. Yeah, just just shoot it. Shoot it. Make it go away. I don't want to look at it anymore. It's scary! Oh, y'all better stop. Y'all better stop! Okay. It looks like we fought our way through here. There's a health pack over there. I'm convinced that I need that and that it would be helpful. Some more volatile DNA. Guys, I think I just summoned Satan. Got some boxes over here. Please have health. Please have health. If you don't have health, I have issues. Little bit of health, not a lot. What's an emergency override do? It annihilates nearby droids. That sounds like a really good thing to have on me. We fought a lot of robots lately. Why are there like Norse runes all over the ground? I'm a little bit. Apparently, those restore my health. Not gonna complain about it. I need it pretty badly. Yeah, wipe that thing out and get us healed. We've got a Repentant Dagger. What does that do? 20 seconds of invulnerability, but damages you for 25 health. If you cut yourself, you lose a surprising amount of blood, but you can't be hurt. I don't know what the best choice is for equipment here, and frankly, because I'm not a choosy person, I wish that I could carry more. I don't know what that is, but if that thing cropped up in the corner of my bedroom in the middle of the night, I might poop myself. I love the colors, man. Everything looks really, really good with the blurs and the lighting effects and everything else. They did a good job making it look sexy. Got some more DNA over there. Hopefully we'll find something that's, like, net positive for us. Ooh, a little bit more health. Nice.
I guess I'll step on that. Ow! Oh, that cheap shot, though. That cheap shot. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. You're not allowed to hit me when I game off. Oh, my God. That one changed directions. I thought they could only fly in a straight line. I learned something today. On the plus side, these things heal me, so I'm going to keep shooting them whenever I get hurt. Ooh! An inflamed heart. Summon a flame shield, which has a chance to reflect bullets. Ignites enemies on touch. Even removed from the specimen termed Fluoros, subject appears continuously engulfed in flames. Attempts to identify the energy source has have yet been unsuccessful. It appears, however, that the effects of them are transferable through direct consumption, granting shield-like abilities evident in the source. Okay. So I can press C to use that. I didn't really want to teleport back. Oh, you. You. I think he's dead. I was going to say, I shot the hell out of him. I don't know if he's dead, but I'm going to assume that he's dead. A little bit more health right there. What you got over here for me? Let me get some more health. Sorry if I'm, like, destroying your ecosystem right now, whatever you are, but your ecosystem heals me when it's destroyed. And I'm kind of wounded right now. So I guess I've got a fragmentation grenade at the moment. My health is full. Local interference detected, so I can't use a map inside of here. But I do think we're going to have to figure out where it is we're supposed to be going. Purpley thing, did you take me somewhere useful? I think I was betrayed by purpley thing. I don't think purpley thing took me where I wanted to go. Looks like there's another place up there to the right. Oh my god. I got jumped. I didn't just kind of get jumped. I got jumped hard. So it looks like we grabbed that uncharted equipment, I think. Which I guess is the inflamed heart. Possibly. It might be the repentant dagger, too. I don't know. It could be either or. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. You guys kind of scared me. I jump scared a little bit right there. You you scared me ever so slightly, like not like mind-numbingly scared, but scared enough, scared enough to where I'm just like, mm, no, I don't appreciate what just happened. Up to the north, uh, it doesn't look like there's any way for me to get up there from that point. We're gonna have to find another spot, if indeed we want to get up there. There's a jump pad. It looks like there's a place I can go up there, but I'm having trouble finding the entrance. Oh my god. Yeah, don't shoot me, please. I don't want to be shot today. I'm okay with fighting you, but I don't want to be shot today. So that boost pad takes me, like, over to here. And apparently is responsible for the respawning of enemies. Oh, those lightning strikes, dude. Those are the only thing that's actually really hurting me. The lightning strikes are problematic. I don't see a door or anything. Like, I want to know how I get further up top. Like, on the map, I can head to the north right here. We just got to find the entrance. It looks like maybe I can drop down to here. Maybe the other level is lower than the level that I was on. Instead of higher. Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Robots, I'm going to need you to stop. I'm going to need to put a hard pass on that, robot. I'm going to need to put a hard pass on that. I'm going to need you to calm down on over there, robot. You cause me a little bit of trouble. Requires card PRW. Okay.
I haven't found a key card or anything like that, but maybe it's in the cards for the future. Oh, cool. Yay. I like health pickups. Those are helpful. Anybody else around here want a piece? There we go. I got a taste for all of you. I got a little piece of the blicky for every single one of you. Oh, my God. That man busted out of there like he was excited to be free. Yeah, let's just shut that down right now. I like how there's little environmental things, though, like robots breaking out of crates and stuff like that, too. Makes the world feel more alive and dangerous. I think it's a grenade, maybe? Yeah, that was a grenade charge. All right. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just going to keep on running. Hopefully, I end up somewhere satisfying. Heading down this way has afforded me with a few opportunities to kill robots that were not previously available. I guess it all depends how dedicated you are to the craft of slaughtering robots. These guys really want to give me a hug, man. They're trying. I give them props for it. Like, I don't know how I activate this. Like, it looks like there's little arrows on the ground that are supposed to guide you, maybe? So, like, these two little things come from over here. And that's not activated. So, I wonder if we follow this thing right here. We'll find whatever activates the jump pad. I wonder if that's how it works. It totally is. Okay. Oh! I got smooshed. Dude, I'm not down with getting smooshed. I'm not down with getting smooshed at all. That was not the play right there. I don't know what that mod is that I just put over here, but that gives me a bunch more health and some more luck. I'm going to take it. Sounds dope to me. Who knows what terrible thing is going to happen when I add that on in. Last time I grew veins that erupted out of my arms and shock everything around me with murder streams of electrons. Second one looks like it didn't do anything to me, though. Apparently I can melee other people's grenades to knock them back at the origin source. Sounds like a decent plan. So I guess I go back to the start when I die. We also have an excavation graveyard, apparently, where I can go back to, like, get my stuff, maybe? The weather seems to be a little bit better. I'm going to take that as a blessing, except that somebody just tried to C4 me with plastique. I guess there's bug sphincters on this planet. This is definitely a different planet. This is not the same biome as last time. I don't feel like whatever those are have my best interest in mind. Guess I can jump down over there, but like, what is that? Oh, there's Velociraptors. I'm kind of glad I got something biological this time around. I'm not a big robot guy. A Tritoraptor egg. Scan results below. Primary components it detected as organic matter identified as an egg of the Ultric Serpent's genus. Unfertilized. Scans indicate its contents are safe for human consumption. High in nutrients and prove beneficial. Alright. I guess I'll eat a Tritoraptor egg. A little bit of health down there. Yeah, I'm going to suggest we, like, backpedal as fast as possible. How about... No! I backpedaled as fast as possible wrong. I did it wrong. I'm sorry. Was there, like, poison gas over there or something? I don't understand what was hurting me after he was already gone, but... Oh, if you destroy their nest, they get a little upset. Yeah, that's understandable. I don't think that gives me very much health. I'm thinking that those probably are not worth the effort and spawning more enemies for. Like, it's tempting for that sweet, sweet 1 HP. 
but probably not worth it. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Beacon. It's a top-down isometric shooting roguelike that I think some of you may like. I love the art style. I kind of like the weird, out-of-this-world, flashback-type style that the game has. Oh, they're geysers. They spurt. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to get the game for yourself, it's available on itch.io right now. You can get it down below. Take care, everybody. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games on the internet every single day and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so y'all don't have to. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. It's good to have you. I do, and take care, everybody.